Good morning guys and girls of YouTube land. Uh, it's just me, Jamie, and I'm coming at you from my kitchen. Um, so today I'm making sausage balls um, for dinner for my family or for my lunch. Um, it is like 2 o'clock, just got out of the shower, got done doing my face for work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start cooking the sausage balls. So a couple different recipes that were in here. Of course I need salt. I need a pound of sausage. I'm going to double the recipe because I saw a really good recipe earlier with um, Italian sausage. So I'm going to mix those two together um, with two eggs. Um, and I just have the Kroger, ignore my dirty dishes in the sink, Kroger eggs. Um, I'm supposed to have two cups of cheddar cheese, but yeah. I also have a 12-year-old who likes cheese way too much. So the recipe called for a quarter cup of parm. So I'm just going to add some extra parm to make up the difference. Um, and I have, <coughs> have my trusty cough drops because I am sick finally after, or not finally, I'm sick now after almost a year of not being sick with any kind of colds or anything, and it's driving me crazy. Um, so yeah, well, let me go ahead and pause this and get the meat out of the packages and get all the ingredients together and we will come back. Okay, so I have done a little bit of cheating here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I've never used this before because I'm not a sissy, but it is freezing cold outside and my hands are cold and I'm not going to mix this meat by myself. So, if I can get my camera to turn around. And I can't, so I'm just going to do this. That is the sausage and the Italian sausage mixed together in my food processor. So I'm going to mix that up and I'll come right back. Alright, I'm back. So... Now I'm going to add this cheese, if I can get the bags open, bear with me one minute. And for those of you who know, I am an exact chef, so I'm going to eyeball this. I'm going to call it about a cup and a quarter. And I'm pouring all of the cheddar cheese in there as well. Okay, now let me get the eggs. Okay, people, that is what we have. I put the eggs in here, two eggs, because the recipe calls for one for one pound of sausage, but I've used two pounds of sausage, so two eggs. Um, blended it all up, gave it a, a good solid minute to mix, and my Ninja, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going for another cough drop. Um, a good solid minute to mix in my Ninja so that everything's nice and incorporated, and now I'm going to look at the recipe because I don't remember the next step. Okay, people, I'm back. So I actually did not see these other ingredients, and I'm glad that I did. I need two teaspoons of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, and two cups of almond flour. Recipe calls for one cup, so I'm doubling it. Um, <clears throat> I'll be right back. Hey, guys and girls. Okay, so I have mixed everything together quite well in my Ninja. I am now gonna let my hot water run for a minute. I don't know why my sink screams like that when the hot water's on, but it does. Anyway, so now I'm gonna roll that into little meatballs, and I'm gonna put them in my air fryer. The recipe says to, um, sorry, I had something in it, I need to clean it up, I just washed it too. Anyway, the recipe says that I need to put it in the oven to bake for, at 350 for like 15, 20 minutes. But let me tell you what, <clears throat> I did meatballs the other day in the air fryer. I bought ready-made meatballs. Sorry, my hair is still in the process of drying. I'm trying to make sure I keep moving it around. Um, I made meatballs in the air fryer the other day. They were ready-made from Walmart. They came out amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and do these in the air fryer for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Well, I'll do about 400 degrees because um, I want them to be really crispy. I'm probably going to check on them about halfway through because things cook a little faster in the, in the air fryer. Excuse me. Um, and I'll come back to you guys when they're done. Guess who's back? Okay, so I went ahead and rolled those into little balls. That's There's still quite a bit left in the processor. Um, but that is about the size I made them. They're pretty big. I'm thinking about two as a serving size. Um, that's how many serving sizes there were in the meatballs that I got the other day. Um, 
but that is what they look like. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in the air fryer and I will come back when they're done. Okay guys, so before I get done cooking these, I'm thinking that that's gonna be enough for me and my boyfriend to eat. I know Hannah's not gonna eat them, so I'm not gonna bother making those for her. Um, I'll make her something else for dinner. So the rest of these I'm gonna go ahead and roll up into little balls, put them in this freezer bag, put them on that clean cookie sheet right there, and then I'm going to put them in the freezer and we'll freeze them for later. All right guys, so I sealed these bad boys up. They're ready to go in the freezer, but before I put them in there, I wanna make sure this is gonna be enough for dinner. So they're gonna sit here and rest for a little bit. Let's check these guys out. Let's them, so, ooh, they look good. Oh, they smell good. Okay, I'm gonna put those back in. I think they're gonna go ahead and knead the full, cause they've got the, the um, baking powder in them. <coughs> so I think they're gonna need the full 20 minutes to cook so they can expand cook all the egg and everything all the way to the center. So um, I will be back when they're finished then. <laughs> all right, you guys, it's the final product. Those are the sausage balls. Um, I really do think that those are gonna be enough for one serving. The rest are gonna go in the freezer and my 12 year old is trying not to laugh because mom said sausage balls.